Hey guys, I'm John Carolino. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to help create more of an atmosphere in your worship sets using ambient swells. Um, typically a keyboard player would be doing this, but if you guys don't have a keyboard player or if your keyboard player is busy playing piano stuff, uh, this is a great way to help um, create that atmosphere between songs, within songs, and the emptier gaps. And so you've probably heard this technique uh, used in songs like Matt Redman's Never Once or Hillsong United's uh, Lead Me to the Cross. So today I'm going to show you guys how to use this technique only using three pedals. And that's going to be a volume pedal, a delay pedal, and a reverb pedal. Today I'm going to be using um, the Ernie Ball VP Junior volume pedal, the MXR carbon copy analog delay, and the Strymon Blue Sky reverb pedal. So first things first, swelling in the notes with your volume pedal. So basically as soon as you hit the strings, you want to go ahead and ease in the volume um, on your volume pedal. So next we're going to add in the delay. Again, I'm using the carbon copy from MXR, and it's an analog delay pedal. And the settings are the delay at 12 o'clock, the mix at uh, 12 o'clock as well, and the regeneration, which is the repeats, at about 2 o'clock. And I also have the modulation activated as well. So here's what this sounds like together. Now we're going to add in the reverb. Um, again, I'm using the Strymon Blue Sky. The settings are the decay um, at about 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock, um, the mix at about 2 o'clock, the low damp at 12 o'clock, uh, no pre-delay, and the high damp at uh, about 1 o'clock. I'm using the normal reverb mode. Um, on the room reverb. Now you can achieve this um, with uh, an RV5 or a stereo wet from Nunabur um, or any other reverb pedal. This is just the particular pedal I decided to use. So with all the pedals activated, here's what the reverb um, sounds like with the delay and the volume pedal. So with just three pedals, we were able to create an atmosphere for your acoustic guitar or your piano to be able to sit on throughout the song or the worship set. So I'm John Carolino. Make sure you stay tuned to the Church Collective for more electric guitar tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.